Welcome to Spray Paint Art Secrets, December 2019. And this month we have a lot of really important stuff to teach you. The first thing is the Italian landscape tool. I don't know if you've seen these videos of Italian spray paint artists, but they have this mysterious tool that I have been trying to figure out what it is for years. And I finally figured it out, yay! So now we can make bushes and trees the way that Italian landscape spray paint artist painters do. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And also, we're going to start working with new paint and new paper. The new paint is water-based paint, and I'm going to start easing in videos using water-based paint so you can see the similarities and the differences and what, what working like that is like. And we're also going to work with a new kind of paper and also canvas, and that paper is called the Yupo. Now, the water-based paints that I like to use are the Montana Water-Based 300. You can get them from a website called SprayPlanet.com in bulk for like four, a little over $4 a can if you convince them that you are an art business. <laughs> so I think that's the way to go. These paints are beautiful. Now, if you want to paint on poster board, you may have some trouble with your paper curling. So what I'm doing here is spraying some water on a board so that the humidity in the board is equal to the humidity in my paper, so I'm not going to get paper curling. But alternatively, you could just paint on a beautiful paper called the Yupo, which is like a plasticky paper, and it's very high quality uh, paper that looks beautiful when you do all kinds of effects. All, all of these paintings that you're seeing, this is on Yupo, for example. This is the first painting we're going to work on. Another magic thing we're working on this month is the Italian painter's landscape tool. I don't know if you've seen videos of Italian spray paint artists, but they have this tool that I've been trying to figure out for years what this damn thing is, and I finally got it. It's the perfect tool for making foliage and landscapes, and we're gonna start out using it with just a simple black and white painting. The reason this painting looks good is because this tool gives it so much texture. So this is a tool made out of things that you already have in your house. It's gonna be so maddening to find out how this is done because it's so obvious and it was right in front of me all the time. And anyway, now we finally got it and we're going to start working on making landscapes, starting simple with black and white. Believe it or not, this is done in minutes. Uh, as is this another quick painting, uh, we're gonna start adding color using the same techniques, but adding color, you would think it would be just simple to add color, but no, it takes some thought, uh, and, and we have to work out exactly how to do this just right, but I'm gonna guide you through it, how to make this tool, how to start out practicing with it, with black and white, and then how to add some color, and all of this on the kind of materials that you can take down to your local gallery and get them to look at your work. So we're gonna do these two beautiful landscapes and then we're going to do another kind of landscape, another simple black and white landscape. But again, there are some very basic techniques in this very simple black and white painting that I would like for you to learn that are just gonna open your world up so much. This painting took just a few minutes, maybe like 10 minutes to do, but it looks so elegant and there's so many little little details in here that if you learn them and you add them to your paintings, it's just gonna make your life easy and more fun. And then we're going to do uh, a little bit more of a classic spray paint landscape. This one using a different tool, uh, just to kind of go back to the enamel spray paints. This one is not water-based, but you can see uh, it has a, a little bit of a different look, but they each have their own, their own beautiful quality. So we're gonna go over how to make some foliage and, and some waterfalls and add the kind of foliage that grows near where there's water. Anyway, whatever kind of artist you are, <laughs> if you would like some fun techniques that you can play with, you can use this with acrylic paints, you can use this with, even with watercolor, there'll be things that are fun because Yupo is a watercolor medium. So there's things you'll learn about your, your materials that you didn't know before. So that's what we've got. We've got an introduction to water-based paints, an introduction to the landscape tool, the Italian landscape tool, and also information about what to paint on if you want a slightly more sophisticated look than poster board. Check it out on Spray Paint Art Secrets. If you've got any questions, uh, you can email me, Elisa Amor, at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. See you inside. Ciao.